guys, welcome to RTRC. So, been a bit quiet on the channel recently, but um, mostly because I've been busy. But, um, you know, I've been flying, I've been doing lots of stuff, but um, I've also been working. So, um, well, sometimes work takes priority. But um, kind of something very, very big that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And that is the X20 with Crossfire support. Now, for those of you guys who do follow the channel, you'll remember that some time back I did a whole series with some 3D printed cases, which enabled you to kind of adapt the Crossfire module to suit the X20. Well, I've still got that all in place, but there is one big difference. So I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have a beta version of the firmware. I'm going to bring this right up. I'm hoping I can actually get a focal point in this. I don't actually know if it will. There we go. CRSFV two with a link state running and that is a very very big deal because over here on this quadcopter it's a crossfire quad and i have got a crossfire link running to here and just to prove the point if i pick this up and we look at the radians as i move the well move the quadcopter around you can see it is moving around and doing everything that it is meant to so what does this mean? Well, we're nearly there. We are nearly, nearly there. Now, let me quickly unplug this battery because I don't want my VTX to get too hot. So, what this actually means is that we're finally getting to a point where the X20 can compete with much of what OpenTX does. You know, in, in the last, well, month or so, we've had multi-protocol module support. We have a beta firmware that I'm running, which is just to test CRSF, and it seems to work. I've flown and it does everything it meant to. You know, th there's a couple of little niggles. Currently, we don't have the Lua apps running for configuring the Crossfire. That's kind of not a big issue to me because I've got um, the full-size module. And um, there's a couple of telemetry items which are missing, but those are being worked on. And I would anticipate this will all be ready to roll. Pff, crikey. A matter of weeks um, and I guess this is quite interesting because it also opens up the possibility of Express LRS F or well, oh, Express LRS there you go I'll get the wording right because obviously that uses the Crossfire protocol and um, the long and short of it is that FreeSky actually now have a module which is essentially to all intents an Express LRS module running under 2.4 gig which kind of taps in so there's a bit of synergy, clearly a little bit of planning to suit their agendas. But at the end of the day, all of my long range kit, plug it onto this, it works. And that's that's kind of just mind blowingly good. I'm really chuffed. So um, there you have it. A little bit of proof, guys. It is coming. Crossfire support is on the way. I don't think it will be too long. And um, let's hope we get the finals with all the lures within weeks. Anyway, cheers, guys. Have a good one.